So welcome to part two of Project FTech Overland. This is the F250 build. If you haven't seen the previous video, which is episode one, go back a couple of videos and it'll be in the listing there, um, my previous videos, and go through a scroll through all my videos, see if there's anything there of interest. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Amen. So today, guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go down to Mitz Alloy in Newcastle. Um, we're gonna be hanging out with Tim for a few hours. We're gonna go over some of the build um, so basically the aesthetics of the canopy, the tray, the design, all that sort of thing. Um, we're also going to be checking out the boys have actually got the tub off now. So I'm going to pick that up while I'm down there. And um, just see what we're kind of working with. And we'll go over some of the CAD design work with Tim. Um, we've also got to figure out the layout of inside the canopy. So he's going to be doing all that stuff today on the, on the CAD. Um, and try and get something kind of nutted out so we can get this thing into production and um, start the process, so which will be started yeah, later today, hopefully. So anyway, guys, we're gonna go for a drive down there now and um, go through everything with Tim. All right, guys, we're uh, back down here at Mitts. So here's the uh, F truck. Last week we had the tub taken off. She looks pretty naked right now. And pretty dirty, probably could do with a hose. So, lots of wiring and stuff the guys had to kind of deal with and consolidate into uh, getting it all tidied back up. So, just figuring out a bunch of things today, where to put the uh, filler necks and stuff like that. For the uh, diesel and the ad blue as well. Don't want to run this stuff, but unfortunately we have to now. So, and then there's some other wiring, bits and pieces that's been tidied up here. So, so in the back of the truck we've got pretty heavy springs. I'm pretty sure that when we fitted this, I think we went with like a constant 350 kilos or 400 kilos, something like that. So, they are pretty big, pretty big springs, and they've got a very massive curve to them to uh, hold the extra weight so there was actually one bolt that they actually couldn't get out so they actually had to cut it out had the impactors on it and couldn't get that sucker out so cut that off but um yeah that's a quick little view of what an f-250 looks like without the um <laughs> tub on it so so the tray is probably going to end around about here somewhere, right above the hitch. And um, yeah, so let's go inside and we'll go over with Tim a couple of design things here and there. And um, have a look at the CAD and stuff like that and what we've been drawing so far. So I've got my uh, spare tyres down here ready to go. I already had a um, KM2 underneath the back of the truck. I tried to get another one but I couldn't so that was one of the old KM2s off the truck. I'm just going to run it for now until I can get some more money and possibly put a brand new set of KM3s on both of the rear tyres. So that's that set up for now. So I know the 130 doesn't fit, I already checked. What size is in Michael's? Your canopy is 60 mil shorter than Michael's. Oh, yeah. Are you height? Or yeah, height. Okay. It's surprising that for such a big truck, the dimensions of the mm. actual box size you can have another drawer in there, man. <laughs> yeah, I want a gap at the back to put camp chairs. So, like, well, if yeah, if you were going to put the drawer, we talked about that the other day, you were going to put the drawer beside the fridge, and then have the kitchen. 
have the um, the kitchen there. So, so your fridge is there. You've got enough room for a battery or whatever you need to put in down the back here. Yeah. And then these drawers here, I'll make come out to the centre because that's the centre line. Yeah. So you'll have extra deep, long drawers. So you got all those trays and everything, they're all just on fire ready to go? Oh, we're getting there. It's, <laughs> this is a real, it's been a big mission to there. Yep, that'll be perfect. Yeah, so it'll have draw, 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 draw. Yep, yep. And then here we'll have the kitchen set up, ah, uh, the, the other fridge slide. Yep. And that front wall. That whole front wall there will be all your panel, so you'll end up with a heap of stuff. Yep. And then I think running off the top of your pan in here will make up that little tray for your yep. shower cube. Yep. It's the fancy thing. And that's just basically on a, I can, if I wanted to remove that, I can, like it's on a track. That panel is all bolted into the wall there, so it'll all be bolt on, bolt yep. off, removable. Yep. Because yeah, this is what our panel looks like. It might corrupt because we're making it bigger. See? Yep. So it'll just fit in there. Yep. But the legends at uh, TJ and Hunter Valley will make that happen for you. So in the way that I want some of my stuff configured, I want it very user friendly, very simple, very easy to kind of get to things and um, it, to be practical. It's the whole reason why we're doing this is so that the truck is way more practical than what it was with the canopy on it. I thought the canopy was going to be the right thing to do um, in the beginning but as off-roaders and doing this sort of thing we make mistakes and that was a mistake. I made a mistake. I, not that I didn't really think it through, but at the time I just didn't have the funds to go and pump into a tray and canopy. Um, so it was just one of those things. I tried to get someone to modify the windows for me and that was a challenge because I wanted to be able to access inside. Um, and these are all things that I didn't really think about when I ordered the canopy. So, but as off-roaders and our trucks and our vehicles, we all make mistakes. It's part of it and by me bringing you these videos, hopefully that stops you from making the same mistakes that I have. Um, but in saying that, I want this truck, I want this truck to be perfect. I want this to be the way that I want it. And I'm so thankful that Tim and the guys down there are working with me with this. And um, yeah, we're gonna build a sick truck. I can't wait, so. So we'll have a quick look at Tim's truck here. It's got all the gear happening on it, so of course his tray and canopy. It's got a little roof rack up there, surfboards. Ladder. Jerry can holder with the water in it. Tidy little Hilux. He's also got his um, water tank at the front of the headboard there too, which is cool. And it's 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 really funny how your uh, not your, not really your uh, desire for things, but more so what I used to think of trays and canopies. I hated them, hated them with a passion. And now like they've grown on me so much. It's unbelievable. Like just because of the, the standard tray and canopy you used to see back in the day, it just, yeah, they're practical, but they just look like shit, to be honest. They just look like crap. And now with technology and the fabrication work in Australia and how good some of these companies are getting now, it just, I, I actually like the trays and canopies now and that's what's turned me to go and get one 
for the practicality, for what I want to do for camping. Whole setup with the tray and canopy, I want it based on if I can go and do a big trip, like take a few weeks off work and go and do a trip, perfect. The, the truck will be set up for that or it'll accommodate that. But also it's going to be a lot of what we do more so just like you would small weekend trips away when you get the chance with the boys with the family things like that so i want it to be quick simple so basically i can just if the canopy is not on because it's a jack off canopy if it's not on the truck i can simply chuck it on the truck and i'm gone everything's just plug and play hooked up and i'm gone when i get to camp it's not a three-hour process to set everything up it's basically bang shower comes down bang tent goes up bang awning comes out it's very quick and very simple. That's how it should be. It should be just really easy and simple. You're going away to get a break from everyday life, from everything else that's going on, just to chill out. And that's more so what I'm gonna be doing a lot of is these weekend trips. So hopefully you guys like that sort of thing because I think it's more realistic on what we actually do. It's great to watch channels that do these big amazing trips and they have the funding to do it, but for me, still being so small on this sort of platform, the reality is it's small weekend trips up to the beach, up to the Wadigans, Barrington Tops, may, may go away for a week somewhere, Fraser Island, things like that. So I dream of doing canning stock route one day and, and I want to go to Cape York and all these other things. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. A um, little bit of an insight there on what Tim does, designing your canopy and your tray for you. And yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in episode three, which will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. Once the tray's going on, things are getting bolted up, canopy goes on, and we've got paint and all the rest of it, and then power install at TJM. Hopefully we get that in before Christmas. We're pushing it. We're trying to meet a deadline. So... See what happens. Anyway, guys, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. See you.